Hi, it's Adair Palmer here, and tonight I'm talking to you about how to write an ebook in an hour. It was quite an interesting um, process that I went through recently. Uh, I'll explain that in a little while, but I would like to uh, welcome you here to to this webinar. We're looking at about an hour, and in that hour, I'll give you the outline, the five steps that you need to take. To write an ebook yourself. Now, I did notice that there was in the last webinar I did, since I did that webinar, which was two weeks ago, there's been two people that were on that webinar who have actually written their own ebook without any further assistance. So, there is obviously enough information here that you can go and do it completely yourself if you want to. If you need some help, I'll have an offer at the end. For you to take up if you wish. So let's get started. I'll just share my screen because I do have a PowerPoint. And there we go. Okay. I'm um, a bit of a uh, a tech, not a tech phobe, tech nerd, tech, no, tech nothing, <laughs> tech nothing, I think. Okay. Okay. So I'm just telling you a little bit about who I am and then we'll look at why, uh, why I've come, uh, I've, how I've come to uh, be doing this webinar here tonight and then we'll look about why you would want to write an ebook for yourself. So as I said, I'm Adair Palmer. And I started my journey into, I guess, online marketing, which I don't even like to call it that because I just call it, I really just say, you know, just attracting clients using Facebook, which is probably more suited to what I do. And I, I got sort of fell into that. Uh, I'll just go back a couple of years. I won't give you my whole life history, but back a couple of years to the days that I was in. Um, uh, I was doing, I was actually working for not-for-profits. I was in government, then I went out and left and was doing management consulting with not-for-profits and I was working with a, uh, so, uh, several non-profits in the northern suburbs, which was really good fun, but uh, it was not um, uh, not particularly productive finances-wise. But that aside, I took on another uh, another stream of income which was network marketing and that was really cool I love the products I love the company but I was a bit of uh, what do you call a, a seagull on social media especially on Facebook I'd, I'd just fly in and crap everywhere and fly out again and I was sort of wondering why I was having such um, a, what's the word inconsistent success I would say and then, but what I did as a result of that was I was, the training was reasonable. And one of the things that they asked us to do was to set up meetup, uh, not set up meetup groups, go to meetup groups where we would meet our potential clients or customers or potential business partners. So I looked in at meetups in Adelaide to see if there was any meetups of the genre that I had that was in the industry that I had the network marketing uh, company that I was affiliated with for and there was nothing. So I decided to set up my own meetup and I did that in, it was Valentine's Day 2015 and by I reckon it was April, May, I had around 250 people in the group and I got an email from a guy called Shane Fozard from the Australian Success Academy. And he said, if you advertise to send out a couple of emails to your group, I will give you free tickets to training. I'm coming to Adelaide for hypnotherapy training, a certification training, and you can come and do the training for free. And so I just went free training. Yeah, that sounds like great fun. Uh, I'll be in that because I'm a bit of a knowledge junkie. And I went along and I loved it. I had no idea what to expect. I really hadn't been exposed to hypnotherapy before. And I ended up 
coming home after the training and well, you know, the pl- training had finished and I said to my husband, yeah, this, this shit's great and I'm good at it and I think I'm just going to be a hypnotherapist. And he just looked at me like I was a bit weird, but uh, he uh, accommodated me and I started practicing hypnotherapy, which was really awesome. I still do it and I still love it. It's not the main gig because what that led me, led me to was do, looking at a, attracting clients. And what I found was Facebook, because it's such a massive, massive platform, there's 1.89 billion people on Facebook right now, which is more people than what were, who walked the planet 100 years ago. And so what I, I did was... Uh, I set up a Facebook page. I uh, started working the page. I was actually working with not-for-profits, dabbling in Facebook, teaching how to set up policy and teaching uh, employees and volunteers how to use Facebook for -for not-for-profits or organisations. So I had an interest in that area anyway. But I translated that a lot across to what I was doing with hypnotherapy and I ended up, just acquiring a lot of uh, customers or clients you just using my Facebook business page and a little bit of offline marketing and it wasn't difficult and I loved it and my fellow hypnotherapist buddies were saying well how are you getting all your clients and I just say well I just use my Facebook business page and so they said well will you show us and there was one person in particular and so I said yes and they were working a nine day fortnight and so what we ended up doing was on the fourth day the Friday that he had off at the end of the nine day fortnight I he'd come over to my place and I would show him what I did to be like to be so successful on my own business page and he was implementing it and then I figured if I could teach one person around my kitchen table I could teach two and if I could teach two I could teach four and six and I maxed it at six because my uh, dining area is not that big but what uh, what resulted of that was I she ended up with you know teaching people all last year uh, and a very low key about how to do it and I just was fascinated by it and I realized the more I learned about it the more I found that it was just an amazing platform and it's only 1% implemented. So there is so, so much happening on Facebook and there is so much that is going to happen. So this is something that's really, really critical because what this does and how this links in, this leads to why I've written an ebook. I actually have started nearly three quarters done my hard my big book, which is called Unlocking the Facebook Code, 10 Steps to Attracting Clients. Now, this my ebook that I wrote is called Breaking the Facebook Code, 10 Steps to Getting Customers, which is a bit different, but it delineates the two. And I did the ebook as a result of a challenge that was issued in Kerwin Ray's Nail It and Scale It Uh, masterclass recently in Sydney and which was a brilliant masterclass and I learned so much Mm -hmm. but what what happened was we came he my husband and my son and I'm a 15 year old son uh, we all went over there and we did this masterclass and it was that the first night we were there uh, first or the first day we were there he said overnight you're going to produce an ebook and we all just like went oh my god well actually my husband and son did and I just went, oh, that's going to be a piece of cake because I've got three quarters done of my big book. I could just distill that down and, you know, sort of package that up into an e-book, which is sort of pretty much what I did following the process that, uh, that we learned at that night. So what I've done is when I saw my husband, he put a, his book was called 15, uh, sorry, Five Ways to make five things you must know about choosing a, an inspirational life coach and my son wrote five top reasons school students fail and how to avoid it now from a 15 year old I just thought this is really interesting he's also a hypnotherapist and an NLP practitioner and so is my husband so we've all gone on and done extra training since I had done the original 
hypnotherapy training. So it's been a massive learning curve and personal development growth for our whole family. But what I wanted to, what I realized at that point was where the ebook fits into what we do on Facebook. So this is really, really important. If you are on Facebook and you want to have an ebook if, and you want to have a business and a business presence on Facebook, well, then an ebook is really one of the really best things that you can have to attract um, attract potential clients or customers. So that's how I just actually just let's get the this coming up so it can segue nicely into. Um, I actually I actually prefer live rather than PowerPoint, but uh, I'm sort of retraining myself to use PowerPoint. So bear with me. Uh, this is going to be interesting. If you do want to make any comments, you can feel free to do that in this little chat box up there if you have used Zoom before. And uh, just if you want to ask any questions or make any comments, please feel free to do that. But what I would like to do is uh, ask you a question about why you would want to write an ebook because there are... Um, there are several different reasons. What uh, well, obviously the first one is what I came up with, looking at, at it as a um, something that's going to attract clients on Facebook. So, firstly, using it as a marketing tool, it is a really, really powerful marketing tool because when you are Using e an ebook as a marketing tool, you are exchanging something in return for, uh, a, like you're exchanging a gift in return for something like your uh, your email address. So you are attracting people, uh, potential clients and customers. You're also positioning yourself as a thought leader in your field. You are, um, uh, oh, here's one I've already mentioned. You, it, it will help you build your email list. It will also help you build your own confidence. Now, we've had some really, really, like I said earlier, some amazing successes in a very short space of time. And I just, the, the more I see people doing this, and in fact, I met with a friend today who said she was on my last webinar and she said she's got her ebook down the first draft down already and and this girl bless her cotton socks is someone that would take normally weeks months if not years to achieve something and she's done it in a matter of a couple of weeks so it has the it's 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 a way to fast track uh, for your confidence and it's a way for fast track to getting a product that you can exchange for an email list, position yourself as a thought leader in your field um, and use as a marketing tool. Uh, so the, it's just really amazing. Another girl that I, I helped said that she was, well, I think we, we had the webinar and I actually did one first in a closed group, which is the Facebook Code Breakers group. And I was talking to one of the girls in the group and I said to her that I would help her and we, we worked together and she said in a, from going as a matter of a, over the long weekend, she went from Friday not even thinking that an e-book would have been like didn't even cross her radar that she'd be writing an e-book to Monday having one produced and uploaded to her Facebook page ready to give, get, give away. So I'm saying that you can write one in an hour and we've done it. We've got the, the outline of an e-book for, for in an hour so there's a few other things that do need to happen around that that do take longer than an hour but you can indeed write an ebook in an hour and I know that should be true because I've done it and other people have done it and the other reason that I have is to impress your mum now I'm not usually out to impress a lot of people but my mum's written books and uh, and she's quite good at that as well and I sort of think well not that it's a competition at all but she was a little bit stoked and actually I think she was more impressed that her grandson had written the book that he'd written <laughs> than I had than she was that I'd written mine but the other thing about this is you were looking at um, no 
no more than around about um, 15, 10 to 15 pages, no more than 15 pages because people want to digest things in a, a, a condensed form. So you're giving people the high level view of sorts of the sorts of things that you, but you'll still give people actionable things that they can take away and implement or do or have uh, changed their mind about. So there's there is a lot of things that you can do at the higher level, but as a lead in to position yourself as a thought leader in your field to give away a free, a free giveaway to attract p potential customers or clients. And using it as a marketing tool, you only really want to have an ebook that's between uh, five to 15 pages and no more than 15. So I think 10 or 12 is probably optimum, but I would say absolutely no more than 15 because people just won't read it. And I think, you know, just type a little yes in the chat box if you would, um, if you would uh, not read a, a long, maybe I'm not going <laughs> to, sorry. Hi, 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 sorry, dear Michael here. I can't see the checkbox. I might, I might be stupid, but I can't see the check the cat chat box. Is okay. that at the top or is it? It, is it, should, it, should be, of it? it should be at the top, Michael. Uh, it should be, um, maybe I can see Paula's on. Maybe can you type in the chat to the public? There we go. And it should come up with a little orange. Okay, Paula's saying hers is down the bottom. Thank you, Paula. So if Thanks, you... that's great. Cheers. Okay, beautiful. Now someone's drawing all over my screen again. That's interesting because this actually happened last time I had Shirley was drawing on my screen. I'm not quite sure who's doing that. Nice red lines there. Looks like railway tracks. <laughs> Anyone want to confess to that? No? Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. It's me, Debbie. Are you drawing? Are you? Have you got a tablet? Have you? No, it's on my phone. I didn't realise I was doing it. Oh, okay. I was, to, I was trying to switch over to my screen um, to turn it over, and um, yeah, it came up as a red drawing because I clicked on the red. Um, Oh, oh, okay. No worries. Now I'm just, I might have to, because this is the first time, the, the first time it happened to me was doing this webinar and this is the second time that this has happened. So I just think that's like, you know, it's a bit amusing, but also I'm thinking I might have to, <laughs> I didn't actually expect it to happen again. So um, um, my, my, Michael saying, not me, try John Mack, awesome book, $10 only. Okay. Ten dollars. All right, we'll have to talk about that another time. I will keep moving with this, um, with with this webinar, and we'll just have to have the. I know that they won't go these um, these red tracks, so we'll just have to have them. Just imagine them as like little uh, little little rays of rainbows. Red rainbows. Can I erase them? So no, no. I think you can. If you can't delete them, Debbie, just leave them and I'll get you just to mute yourself again. Thanks. Okay. I'll, just, I'll, I'll mute you. There we go. You're muted. All right. So it's a bridge. Yes, we're building a bridge. Beautiful. Love the a metaphor there, Paula. We'll just turn it into a positive and we'll build a bridge and we're going to walk over this bridge to our own ebooks. How's that? Yay. <laughs> Beautiful way to go. So. Okay, so moving on, there. Um, I have got a, 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 this is another new thing that I've just popped into this webinar that I haven't had before and I'm, it's, it's testing it. I've got a program called Easy Sketch and I've just done a, um, a happy Wednesday to you too, Michael. I've just done, I'll just get this, um, easy sketch done because what I want to do is show you there is uh, how I use it for how I use the ebook as a marketing funnel like at the top of my marketing funnel and I wasn't quite sure how this was going to go because of 
it's it should actually go a little bit faster but my computer is uh having a bit of uh trouble keeping up i think the it's about at capacity <laughs> It's done a really, really good job and I'm grateful to have it, but it might be time to retire the thing. I won't say that too loud now, but this is, um, it, this, this actually, if you look at this without it being on a PowerPoint presentation, it will go through in about five seconds. So I can't forward it to the next one, I don't think. Let's see if I can. Now, okay, there we go. Now I've just forwarded this to the end. That was clever, wasn't it? So what I want to do is see if we can get to the next, next page because it's mainly, this is what I've done while I'm waiting for this. What I've done is wait, uh, there we go, direct, uh, that's direct sales. We don't want that one. Come on. So as I was doing my, there we are, for small business, I'll just pause that. Now for small business, I, I was wondering, like I have a, tem, a tool which is a health checklist for a business page. Now I developed that out of looking at hundreds of business pages and look, getting um, information, looking at what was working, what wasn't working, what made a good p business page, what they could improve on. I saw lots of amazing business pages and I also, also saw lots of crap business pages. So I developed a health check tool and I give that away as well. It's actually on my page, social media for small biz owners. So if you don't have a copy of that, feel free to just hop, hop over there and grab your own copy because it is really useful and I was using that and I didn't realise at the time because I'm a hypnotherapist and not a marketer, there was a lot of stuff I didn't know and I'm finding this stuff out as I'm going along, which is really awesome. But I found the, um, the, like in terms of giving away something in return for an email address was a really valuable thing. So a lot of people I noticed when they had their business pages set up on Facebook, they would have sign up here for your, uh, join my email list. Now, I don't know about you, but if somebody said to me, join my email list, I would tell, no, actually, I'll, I won't repeat what I would say, but I have actually thought to myself, oh dear, in other words, that's not going to work because so asking someone who's to join an email list is absolutely the worst thing you can do yeah <laughs> michael's saying go away and that's putting it really 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 politely and so what i was observing was that people are going well i've got great stuff why don't people like why if people just join my email list they'll see that i've got great stuff and as I was learning more and more, I went, oh, so we have something like an ebook that is going to get people interested in your stuff. They'll give you their email address in return for the ebook. And that way, they, you can start to nurture a relationship with them by email. So, and I, I would imagine that everybody who is on this webinar right now would would have an understanding about that and perhaps at different levels but I know when I was starting out I had no idea none whatsoever I was I was selling a product from a for a um, for a network marketing company and then I started as a hypnotherapist but uh, that I think that was actually uh, if you are in the helping modalities alternative therapy modalities it is a lot easier because people love the inspirational stuff and i find that people still flock to my page of it people that go to the page regularly because the inspirational stuff that's on there it just lends itself and people like paula i've worked with you uh and i know that you, the stuff that you put on your page and in fact um we've 
we've done some co-work together and um, on my page and you know it's just it really does lend itself um, and for people who don't know Paula is also a hypnotherapist but she's a energy healer as well so uh, it does um, it does lend itself really well to that but still you can uh, you can increase your chances of engagement with people by adding an ebook into the top of your marketing funnel so someone's sending me a message debbie saying if i put out an email they can i find if i put email they can go directly to your business page i'm not sure what you mean by that debbie so if you put email not quite sure what you mean by that so if you could just sort of explain that a little bit and i'll keep moving so uh, obviously webinars like this is another way um, giving away templates i have downloaded from people's uh, business pages templates on doing uh, business planning and I think uh, strategic planning, different ones like that, templates for planning is good. I've downloaded also templates for, for writing ebooks, uh, not from people's business pages. I actually got that from HubSpot, I think, which I'll share with you after. So that sort of thing is you can do that. And the tools is like the, the health check checklist that I developed so you can I believe that in any business any industry if you are creative enough you can think your way around being able to provide extra service and extra information that is surrounds your industry but doesn't exactly uh, even if it doesn't exactly match so okay so Debbie's saying, I ask people for email address, then I can put my business page on there and they can click right on it. Okay, so you, you put it in your email then, Debbie. So people have to have to have, you have to have people's emails first, then you can send them an email that's got your business page on it. Is that correct? You can nod if you like or put your thumbs up, I can see you. So, Yes. Okay. Beautiful. This is this is the the putting the horse before the cart. So you've got an ebook or a, or a webinar template tool, something like that that you can give away to get people's email addresses, and then you can still like so you have enough. So if you have enough email addresses, which I would suggest no one ever has said that if they're in small business, they would never say, oh yes, I have enough email addresses. Thank you. I don't want any more. So I would suggest that uh, you are looking at always creating, always generating leads, always looking to con connect with more people who could potentially come, become your customer. Now I know your network marketing too and I think there's another couple of people here who are in direct, uh, network marketing or direct sales. I'll, we'll touch on that as well but I must move on because we are halfway through and I've got a lot of information to cover. So when you've done this you can see here we've got um, an average, say if you had 90 people attend your um, webinar, download your ebook or your template or your tool, then you, this is where most people will come into the funnel. So if you haven't had exposure to marketing funnels before, I found this was a really good visual because from there, out of that 90 people, You've got their email addresses. You are developing a nurturing relationship with them. And then you will provide another service. And, this, and this, is, this is what I do, but it could be something that you can tweak it. And again, I'll show you what um, we've sort of figured out for direct marketers because it is different. People have, have other... Uh, who work in other industries like hairdressers and masseuses and where you walk in off the street may have something else again. So my, my focus is on not so much the face-to-face uh, -face walk in type uh, customers or clients, but uh, more that uh, more around 
people working online as well because I think there's a, a, a huge opportunity for things like Facebook ads for those types, but they will still need some sort of presence to make their ads work, which is another story altogether. I might touch on that a bit later if I remember. So the low-cost workshops or is usually between a dollar and two hundred and fifty dollars so they could be face to face half or full day workshops and online workshops so if, if 90 people on an average get my ebook 30 of those will come along to one of these and obviously if they're in adelaide they uh if it's a face-to-face -face, but online workshops i've got people in the facebook code breakers boot camp uh, group which is and they come to it's almost like an online workshop that just goes for eight weeks uh frog people but uh they're from across the world so so that's the the low cost um and that is the yeah here we go there we go there's the boot camp there that i was uh, referring to so online workshops is a bit different I was running a co-workshop with a lovely oh my god I don't know if you can hear that but people in Adelaide is this weather crazy it's just come down just bucketing down and windy right now so um, yeah give me a give me a yes if it's uh, if it's crazy where you are or is it geez, I know Paul is nodding yes <laughs> Yes, yes, it's uh, it just it just came. I Sarah, Sarah's saying not right now, but it has been. Michael said you had that half an hour ago. Uh, so you're, oh, that's right, you're down the other side of town. So it's just made its way over here. So hopefully it will keep moving. So I just let me just. Keep moving on here. Mid-range cost, cost 250 to 500 plus. Membership websites and boot camps. Uh, from out of that 30 people, you'll get around three people. And then the high cost, which is $500 plus, was one-on-one -on -one coaching, mentoring and retreats. And out of those, 90 people will filter down and you'll get one person. This is on average. So I, I think... And Debbie saying hasn't got here yet. Okay, not quite sure where you are, Debbie. But let's go to. Oh, you're down south, Aberfoyle Park. Okay. So we'll just have a quick look at the direct sales one. Oh no, it started again. That was bad. I need a wingman, wing girl. There we go, direct sales. Got through that a bit quicker. <laughs> Michael, okay. So direct sales is, and I've worked with a couple of people who are in direct sales and they seem to think that this funnel will work, but the difference is you would have, you could have online workshops uh, that I know that there's a lot now that do online shops, but you need to be able to connect with them. So if you're giving away an ebook, and uh, let's say you're in um, you're in the health and wellness or you're in the beauty industry, you could do an ebook on top tips to you know to smoky eyes or whatever it is, and then people are going to uh, or even um, you. You could you could actually do that, and people are going to exchange their email address for you with uh, with you for that book or for that information. And then you would do your workshops, then you would and online workshops, hold your parties online or offline. Then your mid range is around customers, and that would be around probably about how much they'd spend in the lifetimes of a customer. I actually don't know that, so the figures aren't said. It's just a guide to say. This is sort of if you've got a customer and they're a good customer and you look after them, then um, it's just, um, oh, Debbie's a hairdresser too and Michael's suggesting how to sleep better, better and improve your health. Yes. 
Uh, and then you, your business partners, because when you're in direct sales, the way to fast track your business is to get business partners in. And out of that 90 people who get your ebook, you're looking at filtering it down to one person. So that will give you an idea around the numbers and the way I'm packaging the ebook for marketing. So is everyone clear on that? Can we have a thumbs up or a yes in the chat box if you're clear on that? Yep, beautiful. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, Debbie, we know. <laughs> beautiful, okay, yep and away. Let's see if I can get this to the next slide. Okay, so there's five things that you need to know to create great content for an ebook. And I'm, I've got a piece of paper here and I'm on the wrong side of it, so I hope you can't, doesn't disturb you too much with me rustling it around. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to pick a theme. Now, that could be really anything, uh, and we'll go into that a bit further in a moment, but it's it's like, you know, how you've got the... The, the the five steps I, I've well the, the ebook I wrote was ba breaking the Facebook code ten steps to getting customers and my son five top reasons school students fail and how to avoid it so the the theme for me was the steps and the theme for my son was reasons so so you guys can chat about Reiki after okay. Um, Okay, so do I have to... <laughs> yeah, okay, thanks, Michael. I appreciate your attention. Back to me, thanks, folks. <laughs> okay, yep. Feel free to connect after. We're here. I love networking and I love that, um, love that people do connect, but uh, we're, we're here for a purpose tonight. Yep, excellent. Picking a theme. And if I'm boring you, just let me know. I can wrap it up. I'll play it up a bit. No, no, I don't think this is boring. You're here because you want to learn, aren't you? So, <laughs> okay. So, um, let's have a look. Yes. Okay. Picking a theme, and I'll go into that a bit more. Uh, these all, I'll actually go into all of them a bit more. Writing a headline. You need a, a kick-ass headline that's going to grab people's eyes. Writing a paragraph about what they get when they come, when they um, open your book. And then list your, we're saying five steps, but it could be 10, it could be three. It probably wouldn't be any more than 10 or 12 because I think it would be too long. But you will say five because five's a nice number or if eight's a good number for you, then say eight. However many you have, and you might only have three, so list your steps or reasons or whatever it is and you, it, it looks like a contents page and then you unpack each step with three paragraphs or dot points. So we'll just go into that a little bit further. So step one is picking a theme. Now here's some things we can do. We can do uh, like I did 10 steps to getting customers, which was that unlocking the Facebook code. So Paul is saying, could you do five with intention to offer more later? Absolutely you could. You could, you could break it up into, depending on how big it is, you can do three different eBooks if you wanted, but uh, you can you can design it however you want. You might just want to pick three key themes of something and just go key the, the key principles for, and then you could do something else or and, and write it slightly differently or add to that as well. It's it's entirely up to you because this is your stuff. Because every everybody has a message that I believe the world needs to hear, and if this is the way that people can get it out in a very fast, very easy format, then it's a great start. And who knows, we might get someone, uh, we might get some going on to writing longer version books and having them published, which is, that's really like your business card on steroids doing that sort of thing. And I know that Michael's written three, so... Um, and uh, yes, and Paula say that's the intention to do that. Awesome source, girl. Awesome. 
Okay, so the next one is, I'll just check, the chat keeps popping up. Oh, four actually. <laughs> Beautiful. We'll have, to have, we'll have to have your reading list uh, at some point, Michael. Okay, so here's, you can use maybe the five secrets about being in a relationship your mother never told you. Or what about five mistakes small business owners make on Facebook? And what about the six principles to leading a healthy life? Or uh, these are all coming up together because I didn't, couldn't work out how to get them to come up separately, so it doesn't matter. I'll just keep going. Five keys to building wealth. Uh, understanding the three elements of schooling, which would be reading, writing, and arithmetic, to help your child succeed at school. The five virtues of successful people. The seven habits of highly effective people. That was a Stephen Covey book. Um, the uh, traits, the one trait of top, top end entrepreneurs in the world. Uh, rules, the four rules to living a happier life. The five laws that must be followed if you want six pack abs. Eight most commonly asked questions about growing palm trees. And five reasons school students fail and how to avoid it. So there's some key words or themes that you can use to get to, to structure your book around. Okay. And so, okay. Why, yep. Okay. You've got some great stuff there, Michael. I I'll, won't read that out. If other people want to read it, they can. Um, I'll just, I will keep moving because I'm just mindful that that time is marching on. So the first thing you want to do is write a headline. Now, you really need to make sure that the benefit of the headline is a kick-ass, eye-popping, grabbing headline that people go, what, <laughs> when they see it. And it's actually going to get them to want to read on. What is the benefit? Now, what my son did, he wrote, and this book is aimed at students and teachers, he wrote, now, can you believe that nearly one quarter of Australians are dropping out of school before graduating year 12? It's pretty hard to believe. But if you read this book and learn these tools, you will be able to ensure a child's successful future by teaching them how to enjoy school and also how to handle stressful situations with ease and confidence. That's a real benefit-driven statement. So any parent or teacher who picks that up and reads that, especially if it's written by a 15-year-old, I think, I might be a bit biased, but I actually think that uh, that... It, they're probably going to go, well, I'm, I'm curious about what this kid's got to say about the rest of it. So write something that really promotes the benefit for for the person that's reading it. So, oh, Debbie, that looks horrible. The eyeballs, yeah, they do. Let's get rid of them. Let's move on. <laughs> you just, I wanted to make an impact. Did it work? <laughs> Sorry, that was bad, a dare coming out. Step three is write a paragraph about what's in it for them. Okay. <laughs> Debbie's saying thanks. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to tell a bit of a story. You want to um, you you want to show them or tell them share with them what they'll learn, what they'll achieve, what will they discover and what are you going to reveal to the reader when they actually pick it up and they read it through. This information, it should be consumable in a nanosecond so you are looking at one or two paragraphs at the absolute maximum. I'd say I've got one paragraph here. If you waffle when you write, which I do, uh, you will find that that was one of the biggest challenges I found when I wrote my ebook was condensing it, getting what I wanted to say into ten or twelve pages because I have I can write forever about Facebook because I love 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 exploring it and I love sharing my knowledge about it. So if you can, the real skill is to getting it condensed into a one paragraph. It should be very consumable. Uh, 
it also should be conversational. So like how you speak. But if you say I'm um, an R all the time, don't put that in. But you, you know what I mean. Don't write jargon. Don't write. I was at a, a running a workshop uh, the other weekend, a, a couple of weeks ago, and one of the girls in the workshop, the workshop was called Unlocking the Facebook Code, and one of the girls said, uh, I can't stand it when people speak with their with sticks up their asses and I and everyone just lost it and they thought well there's another saying it's like the like the plum in the mouth but we don't want jargon we're not interested in uh, what we know about our industry and using the language of our industry we if we do that we're just going to alienate people so make it their language if you can if you've done your avatar and you know who you're targeting and you are crystal clear about the sort of language that they will speak you be putting it in language that they're speaking. Okay, so then what you would want to do in step three is share your story. Now, this can be a bit longer than a paragraph, but I actually think it's really, really important. What is your why? Because your why is what's going to draw other people in and it's, what go, it's what's going to get other people to learn, think about um, how they're relating to you and draw and that's that actual connection point and usually it's around about you telling your story it's telling the what you what what you've done what pain points you've had that have led you to the knowledge that you have right now so it, it's actually that your journey and that and it validates the stuff that you're putting into the book. Now, I've come from an academic background. I've got more degrees than what they say in anal thermometer right up to a master's level. And doing this was a real challenge for me because I believe that, you know, we until you get to master's level, you have to write in the third person and you have to be, you have to jargonise it and you have to write with the stick up the ass. And I just found that this was a whole different way of being and I had, I had to unlearn how to how to do what I was doing. I had to unlearn what I was doing to relearn this new way of doing things to actually really connect with real people and to to be able to um, to relate in a way that was to, particularly when you're doing re written stuff because usually when you speak you speak as you are but uh, if you are writing I think some people tend to write a little bit more formally so try and keep it a bit unformal because this is Facebook we're using it for. So if you are remembering that Facebook is a social platform, a social media platform and people go to be entertained, they do go to be in, uh, informed. There's a new word out, uh, it's called edutained. So they're educated and entertained at the same time, which means that they don't want to be right reading thesis. They just want to be reading about you, about your story. They want to connect. You can use all the VACOG, you know, like the colourful language and describe it and make it, make it come to life. But it's important. Okay, step four. This is the easy, well, they're all, they're all easy. Uh, list the table, list the steps and a couple of sentences or even a couple of words to describe each, each step. So what you're thinking here is like a table of contents. So if you are, are doing, it's just my son did it in a, a little, he actually did it in a table with the, the, the step or the reason in one uh, box and then a couple of uh, words, a few little words around what that meant. So, uh, and he did it in a table of contents. Uh, format. A logical sequence will work if you're uh, working on a mastery concept, like if you are using foundational steps as building blocks. Uh, so what I do is I, I teach people about the house of Facebook before they learn about groups and learn about avatars before you learn about Facebook adverts because you, if you don't have an avatar, then your advert is going to fail a business abysmally and if you don't know about how Facebook hangs together and the way I teach it you 
go into groups and you don't know maybe what groups to go in or especially too if you don't have an avatar uh, and or how to interact with people or how to put people on your back veranda if you haven't seen my house of facebook the back veranda is where you keep your friends the friends list friends and family list but that is another webinar for another time right now we're looking at the ebook if it's a top tips ebook you would make a logical sequence. Isn't that important? So you're looking at, say, five different hairstyles you can use to look sexy or five ways you can slice and dice your fruit and veggies to make them appealing for your kids. So that really doesn't matter. There doesn't need to be a logical sequence. Oh, Karen's saying love your house of Facebook. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate that. Is that Savitri? I can't actually see you. I see that there's a Karen here. But if it's Savitri, oh, I think I'm looking at a ceiling. <laughs> if it's not, welcome, Karen, uh, <laughs> whoever you are, whichever Karen you are. Let's just see. Oh, Karen Warren. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Nice to have you here, Karen. And, you, yes, you were at my workshop, so you, um, you've seen the House of Facebook a couple of times, haven't you? Yes. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. And I look forward to helping you write your ebook too, because I'm sure that there's stuff we can do for online shopping. Absolutely. Okay, so moving right along. Now we're unpacking each step. So what you do is you name each each step. Now it could be the reason, the step, the the law, that whatever it is. And then you Create an opening statement. So if you go back, that means if you go back to your table of contents and you take the first one and then you create an opening statement for that step and you can use words like this is important because or it's awesome, critical, vital. I think awesome is the most overused word on the internet or on Facebook and I actually I love it. I, use, I overuse it myself but uh, it's better than negative words so this is you can use these words because they they catch the eye and so what my son's done is he's just I think he's just gone this is important because so he's used the same word throughout you can mix it up a bit if you like your creative writing a little bit so <laughs> Michael is awestruck that's that's awesome <laughs> had to be said didn't it <laughs> okay so then once you've done that you write three short paragraphs or bullet points and each with one point about why it's so important critical vital etc um so you've got three three dot points or three that you flesh out so what i do when i work with you he's awesome too what what i do when i work with you i would work with you to get the the structure of it down and each step unpacked and then you would work work and go and work on fleshing it out um but you can definitely you can do this part in an hour seriously you can so schedule out an hour uh, sometime in the next week and just see I'd love to see it's a challenge I'd love to see you get it done and then get back to me and say yes I've done it in an hour that would be absolutely fantastic if you need some help I've got a special offer uh, coming soon that I can share with you uh, about uh, reaching out for help as well so uh, then what you do is you get a visual representation for each step which means that you use a conceptual model like um, like I've got the house of Facebook as the first step for as understanding the face of house book a uh, face of house book oh my god it's been a long day the house of Facebook and um, but you can use uh, other graphics or like any any sort of thing that you want you can just download there is a website there's lots of actually websites where you can get free stock photos so if you wanting uh, can you just uh, type yes in the chat box if you would find that useful because i can send that through for you um for the stock photos and then you can uh, just go onto these websites there's about a dozen or even more websites where you yes okay yes 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 everyone's saying yes they want the photo so i'll send i'll send that 
making notes in websites for photos. Yep, cool, we'll do that. Uh, because the, the visuals are really, really important when you are doing this. So, so when you are having, just make sure that the visuals represent the, the step or the rule or, and also the statements, so the three dot points that you're doing. So have, have them in there um, with each, each one of them. So and then you use a quote to reinforce your point. So those quotes you can search anywhere on the website. You can make, some people have their own quotes that they've made up and they've circulated. I've, I've got a few. One of my favourites is don't compete, create. That's, I think it's mine. I've never heard that before. But there's others that you can you quote other people. I've quoted Michael Jordan and you know different people on in my ebook. So, so and I've quoted Mark Zuckerberg. So you can have a quote that reinforces uh, your point or that particular step. Uh, in that you don't have to do one for each of the three paragraphs. You just do one at the end. Then you can do a uh, rinse and repeat until you have covered all of the steps so it's that simple folks you just do that five six seven three times however many you've got and go through that process um, so at the end once you've done that you create a call to action so you can say go to this website sign up now or um, there's there's something that you have um, got I've actually got a and it might seem a little bit uh, a little bit redundant because you've already given them uh, your ebook and then you are getting them to maybe go back for something else so you're not getting them to go back for your ebook but you are getting them to go back to your website because it's an opportunity to engage so at the end of my my ebook I've got so, uh, click here for your free health check tool, which is totally cognizant with the um, with the the topic of the book. So you might want to give away free samples, or you might want to give away um, a I don't know a twenty minute discovery session, or you might want to do something that is. Uh, in addition to the book, uh, the book to help your client or your customer really engage with you a bit more. So this is really an important part. Don't miss this part. If you haven't got something, it's really worthwhile thinking about doing something. And it's also again in the in the um, top of the funnel. So it is if they've just downloaded your ebook and they've just started getting to know you and engaging with you don't try and sell them a $500 coaching package or a thousand dollar coaching package just give them something it might be something that you're planning on doing webinars that are an expansion of your book so you could say um a click here to register for the webinars that are coming up so and if you're doing them regularly or you might say you might actually get them to click again and go to a landing page to put their name into a landing page for a for a list and your email list for your webinars so then when you do your webinars they will be notified separately that the webinars are coming up but they also may be in your main list as well so it's lots of things that you can do but once you've got your book then you can uh, you can get them to to do other things and also uh, and it's uh, not in here but what you can do is you can break it down and you can do facebook video live videos on your page or you can you can actually unpack each step or each element or each rule or each law you can do a series around that and you can stagger it over a week or over five weeks or however many weeks and you can actually set up a structure so that you can use this information in more than one way so that's 
um, yes, if you have a website, remember to put the link at the bottom of each page. Put your bio and profile pic at the end of the book. It's Your bio is different from your story. So your bio is a little bit more formal. Your story is your why. So don't get those confused. Uh, and the Kerwin, Pro, uh, Kerwin Ray gave me this tip and he said use this metaphor um, to create a relationship because between this step and something well known. And this is really, really powerful. So if you're good at metaphors, get think about what it is that you can put in to your book that's actually going to sum it all up and, and create that relationship. So that, folks, is how you write an e-book. Then you add it to your Facebook page that we've gone over. It's 8.31 now. I'm just going to ask for another five minutes of your time. I do like to stop, uh, finish on time, but we've had a, a little bit of a conversation dialogue here which is sort of um, put the timing out a bit, but I'm, I love that and I think it's awesome that we're interacting and, and that's, that's cool. But I'm just asking for a few minutes more of your time so that I can wind this up. Uh, don't want to finish it and go, oh, oh 8.30, we're out of here. No, we'll keep going. So adding it to your Facebook page, you add it to the menu tabs on your Facebook page, which are the ones on the left-hand side of your page. Then you connect it to your email autoresponder. If you don't have one, uh, there's a free one that's uh, MailChimp. I know, Paula, you have MailChimp. And that you can connect it to there. Uh, in and it's uh, I think you can have up to a couple of thousand um, people in I've, I've got a Weber but I pay for that if you are paying for an email autoresponder uh, that's good if you are having if you're on a limited budget and, or you know if you or if you just want to just try it out use MailChimp because it's free I don't know whether you can Paula you've connected your uh, giveaway to um, MailChimp from MailChimp to Facebook, haven't you? Yes, you have. So you can do it with the free version. Okay, beautiful. All right. So that's the next step. Uh, then you set up your series of emails in your autoresponder to connect and engage with those who download your ebook. Now, this is a art form in itself. I'm connected with a guy called Annex Single. He's written a book called The Circle of Profit and he runs a company called Learn, L-U-R-N. He teaches people how to email successfully, how to market using email. And that is... Uh, that he's just made that a whole business in itself. So I'm, I follow him and I look at what he does and I take a lot from what he does in setting up my own emails and he suggests that you, you know, you, he actually gives you templates and that type of thing that you can do to, uh, to, to write emails that connect and engage because some, of, some emails that you get are uh, just purely salesy and that's, you don't want that because that's just going to piss people off as much as um, it's, uh, let's, uh, Anik, oh, hang on, I'm just trying to type a message in here. So Anik, Anik Singals, S-I-N-G-A-L. Pretty sure that's how you spell it. Um, so he's he's got some wonderful stuff, and I actually do have a spare book of the Circle of Profit, Karen. So if you want to borrow that, night Taj. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to borrow that, uh, I'll, I'm more than happy to to loan it to you. So and Taj says night, beautiful. Um, and then you can add it to your website. So if you have it as a uh, uh, have a website. I didn't have one till January this year, and um, because I just, like I said, I was doing it faster than um, than I was developing it faster than what my systems would keep up. So I've just, I'm still running, which is awesome. It's it's a quality problem to have people, believe me. So uh, add it to your website as a downloadable uh, from there as well, and then. If you are having any problems with any of this, I am more than willing to help. So what I'm offering for 
tonight for you people on the webinar right tonight is um, if you want some help I'll work with you one-on-one -on -one to get the words out of your head and onto paper and that takes about an hour um, I'll help you get your cover photo and any other photos or images that you need organized can give you some um, uh, areas where you can go and look for those um, I will help you get your ebook formatted and published professionally and I will help you connect your email autoresponder to Facebook and upload your newly published ebook so that is a fair bit of help folks because I really love seeing people do this now um, if you want to uh, work with me or want me to work with you to get your ebook out I'll give you a bonus file of 60 headlines that will get your audience tuned in and turned on and uh, all of this is uh, it's probably around about four hours that we'll need to do it but we'll get your book done in one hour uh, like I said before uh, the value of this is um, immense and it's much more than $197 but because I want to see you doing what you do and do it in the, this uh, this way and write these ebooks I'm happy to um, to do it for tonight for you if you book and you pay tonight it's just $147 so if you want to uh, want some help you can Book and pay, it's uh, the bit.ly link there, it's ebook webinar attendee special 147 and you can do that and I will uh, contact you, I'll be set up a time where we can get ourselves, uh, get you up and running and um, and get your ebook knocked out. So uh, right now I'm going to stop the um, recording and I will open up for um, questions if you have questions. So stopping the recording now.